Right, so this gentleman here is uh, Police Inspector Richard Vickers, and you're from the Bilston Station, is that right? Yes, I'm a, a neighbourhood inspector for the South of Wolverhampton in Bilston. Excellent, OK. Pretty interesting job, I would imagine, for you Yeah, guys. it's quite varied for us, yeah. uh, a lot going on in Wolverhampton at times. Fantastic. Well, first of all, tell us who you've nominated. I've nominated Sergeant Ron Price, who's one of my neighbourhood sergeants. He works for the neighbourhood team that works in Penn and Merry Hill. OK. And you've got him as a hero in an emergency. Now, obviously, you guys go through a lot of training. Uh, but sometimes, I guess, and you never know when it's going to happen, life just throws something at you that you couldn't possibly train for in a million years. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if we go back to the, the summertime this year, uh, Ron Price had just been doing some work with his team. And I think he'd executed a warrant in uh, the in a place called Penwood Court, which is a block of flats where he has his neighbourhood office. Uh, so he was left in the office doing some uh, some admin work, and there was a large bang at the door. Uh, Ron's first feelings were that it was somebody connected to the warrant and somebody going to show some discontent. Mm. So he opened the door, expecting to be greeted by uh, somebody with some hostility, and, and what he faced instead was uh, a, a real panicked grandmother with a, a small baby in her hands, and, and the baby was turning blue. Uh, so it's a real panic for, for not just the grandmother, but certainly for Ron when he opened the door. What what did Ron do in that situation? I mean, where do you start? Well, well I think after the, 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 the first sort of thoughts of panic, um, Ron sort of lent on his, his first aid training that he'd had uh, and started to, to check the airwaves of, of the child. There was another, another member of his team that was present at the time that, that called 999. He administered emergency first aid, managed to get baby Alexi breathing again, uh, and, and managed to maintain that until the paramedics came. Um, the, the prognosis wasn't good initially, and I think the, the family were told to fear the worst in terms of whether she would actually survive. Um, however, three days on a ventilator, and suddenly Alexi is, is brought off that ventilator, and she's... She's recovered and she's doing really well. So. Did, uh, did did the medical team sort of uh, say anything about uh, about Ron's actions at the time? Yeah, yeah, certainly. They said that if it wasn't for Ron's intervention, then uh, then they don't think Alexa would be alive today. So some sterling work there by by Ron Price. What, what a fantastic guy! And you must be pretty proud to have him working. You know, uh, as absolutely. Part of your I was away on holiday at the time and, and picked up some of the articles via Twitter feed um, and, and really sort of couldn't wait to get back to find out exactly what had happened. But but yeah, I'm immensely proud of him.